Okay, she's got some deep pain sensation. <laughs> So she's got a fractured pelvis. You can see it there, that bone's lifting right off. It's bloody hard. That one we only needed to get two screws in and that was hard enough. This one we're gonna have to get eight or nine. We were just having some champagne with some clients and serving some customers and this dog just ran in through my back door and just pretty much collapsed at my feet. Owner Rebecca was letting Willow out of the car when her husky cross ran off. I didn't hear a screeching of um, tyres or anything like that. I just sort of heard her screeching. Willow can no longer move her back legs and is lashing out at everyone trying to help her. She turned around and got me by the hand, so she's got a couple of teeth right through my thumb there. Actually, she's got the, the black running through here as well. Yeah. So I'd say she has actually been, been hit by a car looking oh. at that. Okay, she's got some deep pain sensation. So she can actually sense that there, which is good. For me, what I'm feeling the most is around her, her pelvis. I bend up her, her femur on her left side, I bend that up, it feels fine. Yeah. It's just when I start to, to really move that joint around around her pelvis, that's when she responds. She's very loving and she is very bossy, but she's amazing. I love her to bits. Hey Willow, oh no buddy. Hey Willow, I'm sorry. A combination of anti-inflammatories and pain relief is helping stabilise the traumatised dog. Hey puppy, it's all right. Willow's not a, a savage dog. She's just snapping because she's in so much pain. The cruel part is that I've got to get her up just to get her back to the clinic so we can x-ray her. It's gonna hurt the most, I know Willow, it's all right. She's not gonna like it, I don't wanna put her through that, but we just have to work out what's happened when that car hit her. So we'll give her this stronger pain relief, uh, and then hopefully that'll then relax to the point where we can actually x-ray her. Okay. It appears Willow has been hit by a car and lost the function of her back legs. It's gonna hurt a little bit. I'm sorry about to put it through that, but just to get the answers we need, there's just no other way. You can see this spinal area is okay, but when we get to here, there is an issue. She's got fractured ribs. Fractured ribs are extremely painful, but we don't go in and operate on those. No. They will actually heal themselves. Darling, relax. The x-rays are trying to tell me that there are no fractures in those hips or those back legs, but I'm just not convinced. My every instinct is saying that Willow is so sore because there is something seriously wrong here. Big mystery is working out what it is and, and I, I, geez, I would have had my money on, on a broken leg or a fractured pelvis. Willow will have to stay at the clinic for observation overnight. I think when I get home, I'll probably need a stiff drink and then I think I'll probably get a good night's sleep because I know that she's in good hands. Oh my God, she's everything to me, you know. She's my best friend. Look, I'd love to think that tomorrow morning she's going to be much improved, more relaxed, more comfortable and more mobile, but I've got a sinking feeling that's not going to be the case. Oh, it's right, buddy. It's right, buddy. There you go. <laughs> See, we're like... Wow, it's really... All of the body is recovering mm. apart from that one area, that one very critical area, which are these back legs. The next day, car accident victim Willow still can't walk. Oh, you're really trying, aren't you? I couldn't imagine my life without her, actually. Yeah. All right. Just a couple of shots, girl. 
12 hours on from the impact, Chris is hoping a fresh set of x-rays will provide more answers. X-ray. Well, let's have a look. Oh, no. So, she's got a fractured pelvis. You can see it there, that bone's lifting right off. Now, that's the old one there, taken on the day of the accident, with just no sign of any fracture at all. But what's probably happening is she's had a hairline crack here, and then the muscles have just forced it apart and leave it open just like that. So this is gonna be an extremely tricky fracture to fix. Willow's gonna to need to go and see Andrew Marchewski at SASH. It's an extremely painful procedure, especially when she's already been through so much. I'm just really worried, you know, being sort of feeling guilty and sad, angry, <laughs> you know. That's what's sort of worried me, that she's not gonna be able to run with her dog mates and trying to be strong for both of us. Hi. Hey. 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 You'll be brave. And you'll be brave too. Thanks, Chris. Right. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. See you later. See you, Willow. Say bye, Willow. The operation to restore Willow's mobility will be long and difficult. Specialist surgeon Andrew Marchewski is cautious about the outcome. I have got my concerns for her nerve function. and I know she's got some um, and it's pretty good, but we don't know how much damage has been done to the nerve and how much improvement she'll get. There is a risk that we may do some more damage, but the chances of her not being able to walk again are much greater if we do nothing. Good girl. Hi, Willow. There you go, Shook. Now you can tell us. Now you can tell us. Car accident victim Willow is having a CT scan before the operation on her badly fractured pelvis. So this is a 3D reconstruction of the CT scan. What's interesting is that this is the fracture going up through there, and so this part is fractured away from that. Um, that's the other side, and that's quite normal. That'll be our challenge for today. We'll, we'll sweat over this one, getting it back in the right spot. Andrew will insert a combination of screws and metal plates. If the screw's a little high, you can end up in the spinal canal and damage the nerves that go through there. And if it's too low, you don't get enough bone and it's not secure enough. I'll just come your side. I'm not at all surprised that this is being problematic. She's a really big dog and there's a lot of swelling and they're just tough fractures. It's bloody hard. One half of Willow's fracture has been repaired, but the other side is a much bigger challenge. That one we only needed to get two screws in and that was hard enough. This one we're going to have to get eight or nine. Got him. Right on, bang on. Uh, well, we've got all the screws in. I'm just doing a last minute tighten to make sure they're all nice and tight. After five hours, the surgery is finally over. It was difficult to get the fractures back together. Um, ultimately, we got it really nice, but it took a long time. Ah. Pretty sure she got rear-ended. Right. She just got smacked And yet when she arms. came running back to me, I thought that she'd gone into a fight with a cat because she had a, a graze scratch. across her well, <laughs> only. Well, no. <laughs> yeah, I wish. It's a jaguar yeah. is, is the only cat that's dealt with her, I think. Hi, darling. Oh, my God. Hi, sweetie. I was just, like, freaking out. 
I, I mean, you don't want to think the worst, but at the same time, you can't help it, you know? You just think, well, what's taking so long? This should have been over, you know? We've got her through this part of it, but there's a long recuperative period. You know, if this is a human, you'd be in a wheelchair for six or eight weeks and doing physio, so Beck's going to have to do a lot of hard work now as well. Oh, man. A week ago, if someone had told me that this is what I'd be going through, I would never have believed it. She's been so brave, haven't you, darling? Are you going to be a good girl? Yes, your mummy's here. A week yes, after the surgery yes, that's made it possible for her to walk again, hey. Willow is able to go home. Getting her home. How am I going to cope? That's a good dog. Oh, here she comes. Look at you. Is that your mum? Hi, <laughs> sweetie. Look at that. Hello, my girl. For the next two weeks, a towel is your friend. OK. Um, I don't want her walking anywhere without it. No running or jumping for you, though. No. I think she's ready to come home. I think she misses her mum. <laughs> yes, I miss her. <laughs> Hey, cheers, Willow. Cheers. <laughs> Two months after the accident, Willow is the guest of honour at a special party to celebrate her recovery. <laughs> Willow, look at you go. Wow. Yes, we've been through hell, but it's OK. <laughs> I can't believe you're yeah, the same doggy. It's just an incredible difference from where she was on that awful day where she was in such serious pain to now where she's walking beautifully. It's very impressive for you. <laughs> These are the sort of endings that I do my job for. Girl. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way. <laughs> <laughs>